everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, this is God Gift Expectation Channel. Thank you all for always watching my video and for always share. Oh, yes, yeah, so I love you all. So, we have another Ogbonge topic today. Yes, the topic is How did you respect your mother in law? Yes. How will you respect your mother-in-law? Hmm? Because there is a video trend saying that as a mother-in-law supposed to stand up for her daughter-in-law to sit in the front of car. Hmm? Yes. A mother-in-law dragging the front seat with her daughter-in-law. So I saw that video that many people did. I said, okay, let me come in. Hmm? Most people forget that that woman give birth to that young man there that you get married to. And also forget that as a young woman, a day will also come that you will also be a mother hero. So how did you want your, mother, your daughter hero to treat you? At first, for your mother in law to sit in the front of car with his son, that is never a problem in your marriage. That will never, that is not going to be a problem in your marriage. Let's tell ourselves the truth. When I was growing up, when you see the elderly person want to sit down, you have to get up for elderly person to sit down. It's just like that. You don't tell elderly person where to sit, whether front seat car, whether it's a car or not. And come to think of it, this woman give birth to that man that you got married to. Married to that woman, I mean, married to that man. You want to take over, you want to take over the chance of a mother. No. Play a rule of a wife, of a wife. When Bible said a woman should be submissive to her whole husband, it never said mother be submissive to your son. Yes. What Bible said that parents should not provoke their children. Yes. So has a wife, if his mother decides to sit in the front seat. You know that this woman is a, an old woman. And those old people never know what is the meaning of sitting in front or sitting in, but don't know the difference. Come to think of it. They never they don't know the difference between I am going to sit in the front. Let me sit in the let, let the wife of my son sit in the back, or let me sit in the back and let the uh, the, 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 the my daughter also sit as front. They don't know the difference. And this woman wants to sit, maybe he's coming from village or coming from for a long time, you have not seen his son. Now, okay, they are, um, all of you is going to church or going out. The woman decides to sit with his son, feel that love again for a long time. Feel that love again, have conversation. What is so big day? What is so big day? And a husband has his wife said, okay, what, for example, your whole son sits in the front of the car. Will you ask your son to go and sit in back? He said, that is my son. But you remember, that is your son. And a man that you get married to, someone give birth to, to him also. That woman never planned to take your chance. He never planned to take your chance. All he just want that he want to have conversation. He want to have that feeling as a mother to his son. That's all he wants. He more than that. But you as a wife who they married to the family started dragging having competitor with your whole mandalillo that my mandalillo have to sit in this place in the whole day in the days of my mothers of our parents it don't happen as a wife you stood up for your mother-in-law to, to sit because of the modern life we are living, 
daughter-in-law, most of daughter-in-law, they don't respect their mother-in-law again. But you forget that treat others how you want to be treated. You are not going to be young forever. You are still going to become a mother-in-law unless you don't give birth to, to a son. Even though you don't give birth to a son, you still have a daughter. So, the way you are being treated, your mother-in-law, and that is how you will also bring your daughter up to also treat her because children they are washing to also be treated a mother in law you are going to hold one day you expect your children to take care of you when on, in your old age one day you are you will love to sit in the front with your son have conversation have that feeling of a mother so mother, so daughter-in-law, when they saw their mother-in-law sit in the parlor with their son, it is then they want to sit, they want to come and uh, make a tafia sit in sit uh, in the parlor to know the conversation they are, they want to have. The mother-in-law need privacy sometimes. Yes, need privacy sometimes. My mother was a mother-in-law, so I would not like a daughter-in-law to be my mother to be treated by a daughter-in-law likewise if my son get married tomorrow so that is why i have to be treated my mother-in-law you know papa my mother-in-law the way i want to be treated when i'm old i see young lady nowadays when they put themselves in the shoes of their mother-in-law dragging dragging is like they are dragging things with their mother-in-law your mother-in-law is not there to drag anything with you is it some you can't take that you can't take that space you are there as a wife yes mother is supreme you remember if you are a woman if you have not given birth that is a different case because you have not passed that experience you don't know what it takes to bring a child to carry a child for nine months you can do and may god also provide for you for you to have the feeling but if you have already have the feeling as a mother you already have the love as a mother and you are treated your mother-in-law that way you are denying your mother-in-law love that's supposed to have from his son so daughter-in-law don't call their mother-in-law you will ask them how long have you called your mother-in-law you will see some of them call their mother-in-law for twice in a year you forgot that you already left your own family and be in this family you want to have your ho your husband all by yourself. That is why most of them have problems in their marriages. That is why most of them is fighting who is not fighting them. Because there is no mother that will give birth to a son and the wife will come and take the son away from her that she will be happy. Taking away, taking the son away from her means that you will not allow his son to call, him, call her even sending her money so most of them in this room for their husband to send money to their mother they will go and hide because when their wife knew eh, have you said to my mother you forget that you have to this is a family you belong to now you have to treat your mother-in-law the way you are supposed to be treated when you are old when you have come of age when you have old the way you want your daughter-in-law to treat you Kana is real, yeah. Kana is real. Don't forget anything you did to your mother-in-law. Yes, because it's going to backfire you when you have old. Yes. Because I saw the way people are taking this thing. I saw many video people are saying, ah, I can my mother-in-law come and sit in the front of the car. My dear, what of say the man not get car? What, for example, the man don't have car? Okay, for example, now because there are some family the man don't have car. Why the parents, the parents of the man have car? Okay, for example, the man decide maybe uh, uh, he visit his parents and uh, he said, okay, his mother decide, okay, my son drive us today. Can't you allow the mother to sit in the front of the car? Then you say, hey, now your car, now you can sit in the front. Of how to rule a family? That is not how to treat a mother-in-law. Treat your mother-in-law how you want. You, how you want to be treated when you are old. Yes. I hope you are keeping a record how you are treating your mother-in-law. Just put on your shoes. Because he is your mother-in-law. You are going to hold one day. Your children is going to marry one day. 
So always happy. How will you? Think I have that video before. Yeah. Go and watch it. How you want your mother in law? So I will drop this one. How you can respect your mother in law? Yes. The next video I'm dropping is how you can respect your mother in law. So I will stop here. Please watch the video. Share this video so that you help one, one or two people out there. They should stop compare yourself with their mother in law. Do competitor. No, it's not right. If your mother in law wants to sit in the front of car, it will not break your marriage. You it make you as a good woman. It will not take anything from you. Sitting in the back car, what is the difference between front and back? Old woman want to have conversation, want to have that love of a son. Understand that, my dear. It's not even a big deal. Don't drag, stop dragging front seat. I'm, I'm, I I will leave my son with, with my daughter. Mother in law will be dragging my dear. Tell me the difference. Tell me the difference between, just tell me the difference. Sit in the back seat and sit in the front. If, for example, it's a driver that is driving you, can't you sit in the back seat? So please stop that. Stop, stop that. When I see those videos, I will just, you know, if you grow up, if you are betraying where, how to respect elder, elderly people, nobody will tell you that what you are saying is wrong. No matter if you are in Europe, no matter if you are in Europe, stop that. Sit in the front car does not take anything from you. My mother, you can sit in anywhere, all I care. It don't take anything from you. So stop that. Go to where you are going to. You come at your husband will even praise you. Seeing how that dragging front seat with their mother in law. Ah, my my wife don't do that. What is the big deal? If you want to talk, to, maybe you want to have a conversation with your husband. You can have it as soon. Not inside the car. Even having a conversation, you are even distracting the man. You are even distracting that he is driving. You want to play romance? You want to do this? You can do it at home. Leave that for, for let her mother the few time or the few days or the he want to spend with his son. Let him let her enjoy his son. Let her enjoy her son for the few moments. Okay. So I will stop this video. I love you. Please share, 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 share. Mm? If you are my Facebook blog, please share as you do. May God bless you. I love you. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.